What's going on guys? So I am at CCRV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're going to take a look at this brand new Cedar Creek Silverback Edition fifth wheel. This is a really cool fifth wheel. It is a very large fifth wheel, and it's got a lot of features you might like. So hang tight, I'll be right back. So before we go any further, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. This has a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,650 pounds. It has a 3,046 pound cargo capacity, rides on G-rated tires, 7,000 pound axles. You're going to transfer roughly 35, 3,600 pounds of the GVWR to the back of your truck. So just keep that in mind. You deduct that from the actual GVWR of the trailer and it tells you how much weight will generally rest on your axles. Anyways, you can see this utilizes a different type of slide technology up here. This is actually an LCI slide technology, similar to a cable-driven slide, but not. So basically, this is kind of like a rack and pinion system for a slide. So instead of mounting it to the bottom, it's mounted to the side. That's really the only difference. Coming back, this does ride on an 8-inch I-beam drop frame. This one right here has your inverter right here, batteries would go right here it can hold two batteries cable reel this is kind of interesting because it kind of protrudes into your storage area a bit more than i'd like 50 amp cable your waterworks board right here a lot of this stuff is very commonplace on cedar creek units again the placement of this is a little bit strange overall though it's a pretty nice setup easy access to your batteries looking under here you have your 12 inch i-beam frame and you can see where it transitions to the 8 inch i-beam frame below it Coming around, uses the Dexter Easy Flex Suspension Equalizer, Westlake G-rated tires. They're actually pretty good quality tires. Looking underneath the slide, you'll see you have a tremendous amount of storage. This has an elevated rear end to it, so it gives you all of this storage. Tons and tons and tons of storage in here, and it passes all the way through. That is very cool. You can kind of turn that into a bunkhouse, probably. Coming around back, it's the back of your water heater. Here is the back side of that storage compartment, so you can kind of see just how large it is. So this has an enormous storage compartment in the back. You could easily fit probably a kayak through there. You could easily fit e-bikes. Just it gives you a tremendous amount of storage for just about anything. I absolutely love the amount of storage they put back here. And it's practical storage too. You can actually use it. All LED lighting, full walk-on roof with your ladder. It is wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. This has dual awnings on this side, one huge awning right here and another one above it that extends over the slide. This is the other side of your pass-through storage. This is equipped with the TPMS system from TST already, which is really nice. Coming around this way and going up the Moride step above steps with the Cedar Creek logo cut out into this 37 FLB. So check this out. This is a beautiful floor plan. This is a front living room, mid kitchen floor plan. Tons of countertop space. This has a tremendous amount of space inside of it. Nice residential refrigerator, great cooktop. They give you about five inches of space off each side of the cooktop so the handles can kind of face in and they didn't pinch it as tight as they could have, which I really like. Nice huge pantry area right here. I mean, check that out. Plus, they put pull-out drawers all the way around, which is really nice. Good full-size microwave. Lots of drawers. So you have drawers here, you have drawers here, you have countertop space, cabinet space. This is just a great kitchen. Stepping up into the front living room area. This is a really cool setup. So you have two love seats that extend to make a huge bed here in the center, or you can just extend whichever one you want to turn into a bed at that moment. Theater seating here. Lots of cabinet space, countertop space up here, great entertainment area. I love how the whole thing is finished off in dark wood, so you don't have any of the wallboard on the front, which is really nice. Whisper Quiet Air Conditioning System up front. I love this transition right here. The trim work looks great. Coming down, something else to notice, the steps have a really, really nice kind of weathered wooden look to them has the LCI touchscreen to control pretty much everything in this unit. 
coming over here, you're actually going to have a half bath. And it's a really nice half bath, and it's a good size half bath. So a lot of room in here. I love that you have extra storage here as well, plus a great size little sink area. Lots of storage. I mean, that's kind of the story behind this unit, is just the amount of cabinets and storage you get in this thing. It's simply huge. More wardrobe storage down here. You have your TV mounted, whisper quiet air conditioning system above. King size bed, tons of room. Very, very good size floor plan back here if you want that rear master bedroom feel. And because they give you the half bath up front, it really gives you the ability to bring more people with you without them having to use your bathroom unless they need to take a shower. Send them to the clubhouse. More wardrobe storage here. Coming into the bathroom. So this is an enormous bathroom. I mean, they just did a really good job here. I love the fact that they put your washer and dryer right here. You have plenty of room to access it. You're not gonna be cramped in like you typically are on front bedroom models. Great size shower. Plus you have a really nice vanity area. I think having one vanity in this is perfect. Some of the units you see where they put two vanities, but one is more than enough because you can just send whoever else needs to brush their teeth to the front bathroom. Lots of countertop space here as well, so you can lay out everything you might need. I think this bathroom was very well thought out, and I'm actually pretty impressed by it. Again, as is common with pretty much all Cedar Creeks, Whisper Quiet Air Conditioning Systems. Nice height, too, right there. You don't have to worry about hitting your head at all. And they put two pocket doors. You have a pocket door, a sliding door here, and then you have a sliding door there. This one is relatively narrow. Well, not really. It's your standard width. But this one right here is significantly larger that leads you into the bathroom, which is really nice. And again, this is that elevated area with all the storage underneath it. So even though it's elevated, you still have a tremendous amount of ceiling height in here. You at least have upwards of about seven feet in here. So you really don't have to worry about hitting your head while still getting all that great storage underneath. I think they did a fantastic job. And again, just check out all the cabinetry. I mean, there is tons of storage in this. If you're looking at a front living room floor plan, this is definitely one you might want to look at. It's got a lot of really great features. G-rated tires. It has a hung sidewall, higher-end fiberglass insulation in it. Doesn't have any cable-driven slides. It's all rack and pinion slides with the newer style up front. That style hasn't been out for very long, though, so I don't necessarily know what the long-term reliability of it's going to be, but it's based off of a more common technology, so hopefully that's going for it but overall you know longevity of that system's yet to be determined in my opinion but there is a lot to like about this again g-rated tires nice drop frame lots of storage lots of amenities has a beautiful kitchen area a lot of entertaining area as well you have two more seats you can sit back here and have a great kitchen area that can seat four people there plus it has a good size island some of these only have a really really small island with just a sink in it Overall, though, I really like this floor plan, but I'd love to hear your opinion. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. This is definitely becoming one of the more popular floor plans. Almost every manufacturer has a front living room, mid-kitchen, rear bedroom floor plan. And these are, again, becoming about the most popular floor plans that people are looking for. What I don't care for about them is that with a unit this big, I kind of wish there was more bedroom isolation. So if you had kids staying up here, there's a way to maybe close it off so you can still actually enjoy this area for adults right so if you have friends over you can have that and then send the kids off to bed unfortunately with this design about the only thing you lose is your ability to have the kids in their own area because if this is where they're going to be sleeping then everyone ends up hanging out in the kitchen so just something to think about Anyways, guys, I'd love your opinion. Thanks for following along with me today. If you haven't had a chance, I'd appreciate it if you took a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you again very soon. 